here we go again. Our blind tasting has got to bottle number 11. Obviously, I don't know what it is yet. By the time you see this, I'll put the graphic of the bottle in here. So the painting experience helps me try to understand what's going on in here. And I've got three glasses. This one we drank some of the whiskey in last night. And there's a tiny, dusty, chocolatey something going on in there. This one has had whiskey in and is practically empty, but it's still fresh. Good for the nose. And this one we'll get to when we're drinking. I've actually got a fourth one down here, which is Antiquary 12 as a, as a reference. Sometimes it's better to go between the two just to get a, a little contrast. So the first thing here, it's like dark, sticky, <laughs> by sticky I mean sticks. It is not sweet, it's, it is a bit sort of dusty on the nose, maybe a little browner. It's not, there are, there are hints of smoke, I think, but it's slightly more mushroomy, earthy than smoky. Maybe some plant. Maybe a little little grassy or mossy or something in here. Hmm. Even darker, possibly some licorice notes. Not so big and puffy, but maybe smaller sort of wisps or something. Let me just try a little contrast off Antiquary, see if it helps me. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah, this is more like the sort of musty, mushroomy <laughs> something you get off Isla smoke, but there's hardly any smoke in here, if at all. Oh, not that much. Maybe something more towards the yellow. Yeah, sort of something. Yeah, that's better. few darker notes. Yeah, something. It's not spicy sharp, but spicy flavor, ground spices, dry spices. Oh yeah, a little sharper spice when it's fresh. It's not particularly strong. We know it's less than 48 ABV. Well, you'll know more than I, I know, technically. Maybe slight Light orangey spices in there, maybe. Little, few little, few little wisps. A slightly sour note. Um, slightly sulfurous, maybe. If I compare with antiquary, which is sweet.
Hmm. What color would I call that? A bit more of that mustard yellow color. No, not sure if I like that. Oops. I think a bit, it is there, but a bit softer. Okay, try tasting it. Darker peppery. Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure yet. Quite, you know, bitter, bitter flavors. Almost like um, tea, but not not tea that's been brewed. But I don't know it's if you just chewed the tea leaves <laughs> or the tea bag or something. Kind of a base of something like this. Wow. few fine notes but not not very much um, something that might be better represented with the pencil maybe but not that dark certainly not peppery Not citrus, but there is a little bit of a light oil note, kind of. It's running through here. Um. At the finish. I mean, I'm hesitant to say peppery because it's really not, but. It's a few little sparkles towards the end. Let's see. No. Sort of. Kind of this dark tea, tea sticks. Uh, It's 
like a, yeah, a light oil with a few little darker tea-like woody sticks. Slightly grassy or earthy, so I feel like I need to put a little bit of green something in here. Um, don't get any red fruits. Maybe slightly lighter on the nose. A touch of something on the melon nectarine side. Uh, Starting to look like what I'm experiencing. Somewhat simple. A little bit of that pepper, or, yeah, not pepper, woodiness or something. So we can Could go with doing a little bit lighter, really, there. Tiny bit of peat. Is it? Is it peatiness or earthiness? I'm going to go with, it could be barrel char, couldn't it? Something that is possibly a tiny bit of peatiness at the end in the glass. And it really is just like this light. I don't even know if it's there. <laughs> is it or isn't it? Yeah, it's slightly campfire uh, or burnt wood. So is that barrel char? Maybe that's what it is. I'll put another slight brown tone in, I think. That, that looks like what I taste, but what it is, I'll have to wait and find out. For now, I'll have to call it uh, bottle 11. <laughs>